Good afternoon guys, this is Plastic Smoke 5. Today we're doing the manufacture race. It is week 17. And yeah, we hope it's going to be a good one. I qualified down in 17th place, which is very bad. A little bit qualifying on the medium tires. And uh, yeah, I didn't have much time to practice this track. Because I just got home from work. But I hope it's it's going to be a good one. Yeah, it says peaceful music in the beginning, so I hope it's not going to be carnage in this race. <laughs> Let's just hope for the best. It is 13 laps around this track. And now of course I'll, I'll drive for Team Nissan. Which at the moment is not a very, very good car for the Group 4s. Because the FF cars are totally overpowering them. Overpowering the league. Which are, because it's so, so long, we only have to use the mediums. Let's see, maybe we can pick up a couple of positions when those FFs have to go in to change the tyres. I might have to go in to change tyres as well because we, we have to use the mediums. And then we can also use the soft tyres as well. But I'm starting on the mediums like I said. And hopefully everything goes good. And there I am in the slightly purplish <laughs> Nissan. Nissan GTR 4 wheel drive. In the case the race is about to start, let's get into it. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please leave a, leave a like and subscribe afterwards if you do like the video. Thank you very much. Very tight chicane there on the last before the before the start finish line. So you have to go quite slowly or else you're gonna eat into those walls. Tires are still a bit, a bit cold. Four cars are quite easy to control, so I've left the traction control off. And as I say that, there goes the Mercedes Benz spinning out. I don't know if it was this guy in the Lexus that knocked him out. It looked a bit suspicious. But yeah, we won't complain, it wasn't us. Thank goodness it wasn't us. <laughs> For once, I never got bumped out there. I think I'm going to have to go into the pits to change tyres because these guys are just way too fast for me. I think after the qualification, the guy in the, in the lead was about six seconds faster than me. Four seconds, something like that. Four or six seconds faster than me. The Lex is going very wide there. I think he's on my inside now, so just be careful. Yes, there he goes. Let him have the position instead of getting knocked off the track. a Porsche that's right on me, the guy spun out. And then the Porsche eats me. Thanks very much, guy. What a messy corner. The Rekka got a penalty now. But I don't think it was his fault. I came back onto the track because I was skidding out. He bumped me and then he got a penalty for that. I think that's a bit unfair. We shouldn't have got a penalty for that. But in any case, let's continue to continue racing. Now for race. Ah, I hit the wall. And my tires are a bit dirty from going into the sand there. And now I see I've got damage to my left hand tire for that. And the car is pulling to the right hand side. But luckily it goes away after 30 seconds. But still it's affecting my speed. After one lap my tires already got some... 
tail we run up to cause we had skid at the town. Oh, near the Lexus goes off behind me. Straight into the wall and then onto the cross. Oh, what happened to him there? Yeah. These lower end lobbies, I mean this is a group C lobby. Full of dirty drivers guys, full. I know they get them they get the dirty drivers up to the A, A, A rank, A plus rank. I'm not sure if you get it with the S rank drivers. All the videos I watched on YouTube, the dirty drivers go all the way to the top. So it doesn't let up. Just at the bottom leagues, you get them more often. <coughs> this Mercedes driver went very wide there. Now to catch him a bit. I don't want to go into the back of him, so I just make sure I, just before the braking breaking point, I brake just before. So I don't end up going to the back of him. Going off, maybe even getting a penalty. So there he went a bit wide there. Missed his breaking point, but he came back in front. He looks like he's skidding all over the place. I'm just taking this race easy guys. I'm not gonna push him. I'm trying to get a clean race here. As I say that the guy breaks right in front of me. Breaks too much. He braked way before the braking spot there. I'm in seventeenth. Normally the Tires lost, the mediums lost for about seven laps. There's someone off again, as I'm saying that. And this guy's pushing me from there and he pushes me off. And he doesn't get a penalty for that, funny enough. So like I was saying, the mediums last for about 7 laps See, and then the, the soft probably shorter, so probably 6 laps So if I keep it like that, 7 laps Go in at the end of lap 7 Go into the softs Make it a 2 or 1 stop strategy Then it sh the soft should last me until the end of the, the match The end of the race I mean Still thinking about soccer guys Sorry for that Mercedes driver doesn't look like a very clean driver. Looks like he's pressurizing this other guy in front of him now. Uh, they hit him off the track. I thought so. That Mercedes driver is not a very clean driver. I think it's a bit unfair, guys. If you if you think you're faster, they never take someone properly. Oh, and he goes into the wall. Porsche. Like I said, if you think you're faster or know you're faster. I will take the person properly, don't force them off the track or hit them into the wall or something like that. At the end of the day, makes the person frustrated. Also affects the driver rating at the end of the, the race. We're all trying to get up into the high lane probably. But we won't get there if you lose positions because of other guys bad driving. Like this Mercedes guy who's at the moment all over the track. I don't want to pressurize him too much, you, can, you might just bump me off again. I know that the penalty system, you might end up getting a, a penalty for someone else knocking you off, which has happened to me before. And we'll just hope, well I hope he has a nice race, but we hope that he goes off the track and maybe makes a mistake.
the Mercedes driver behind me went off the track. They have to break for this corner, guys. It's like, just have to control the throttle slightly. See how wide you're going to try to keep it as close to the apex as possible. Very slow corner there. Just, just keep it on the track. Nice up here. This isn't a bad track, but it's got a lot of funny, funny corners like this chicane coming up in now just before the start finish line. Just watch out you don't go into that wall. That's going to cost your time. Fast lap so far is at 207. I oh, know on the soft I was doing with 203. It's about four seconds faster. Yeah, but also I don't want to go into the pitch too early. And then then I have then I'll have to make two pit stops and then it's gonna cost me time as well. I'm not sure exactly how long pit stops take in this on this track. But on yesterday's track the pit stop was very long. The pit lane took forever. By the way, the days yesterday for the Nations Cup. Circuit to Spa. That was a terrible race in the wet weather. You had to drive so slowly around that track. That in the end, everyone started on intermediate tyres. At the end, basically everyone was on wet tyres. Because you couldn't it couldn't stick on the track at all. There the Lexus goes behind me off, goes off the track again. I wouldn't say they, they was really, can't really tell that there were dirty drivers there yesterday. Because the road was so wet, the cars were sliding around all over the place, a lot of guys got bumped off. I mean, you can't say that's because of dirty driving, just because of missing break, braking points, because of the wet of the wet track. But yeah that was quite a difficult race yesterday. Ended up finishing there in eleventh place. Got some about nineteen points. Which helps towards the champ towards the championship. But yeah. Because we are coming now this is gonna be you can see that my tires are quite worn out, my front tires especially. I think I'm going to change my brake balance here to go more to the rear. I'm just coming at the end of seven, so we still have to race. You have two laps on these tyres. Just change the brake balance to the rear, let the rears get a bit more worn out instead of the front. The front's already quite bad. I don't want to end up losing more time at the moment. I'm already 32 seconds behind me, the, the leader. actually just have a look at the fuel as well see if I'm gonna have to put in fuel 3.7 years so I'm gonna have to put in fuel as well I normally put in a little bit extra just in case I go off the track you can put exactly amount in the right amount in but if you end up going off the track someone bumps you off or whatever because you're gonna be in a low gear you're gonna end up wasting more fuel and that guy was on the inside, but now I'm going to do a little bit of a cutback on him. Now we're racing back this side by side into this corner. I was on the outside there, so I had to concede to him. These Dexes were quite fast. They're quite good cars. If Gran Turismo doesn't fix the balance of performance. Oh, a little bit wide there. Sorry, dude. Then the FF cars will carry on performing very well. And yeah, then it's not nearly 
really good to stay with Nissan I think next season because of this because it's a four-wheel drive car. The grade three car is grade three car is very good but the grade four car not so good. Grade three cars are all quite evenly matched actually. It's just this grade three I mean the grade three cars are evenly matched. It's just this grade four that's not very good. FF are totally dominating this. He wants to pass, if he can pass, if he's got the speed, I'll let him pass, I'm not going to fight him. I'm not going to block him off. Yeah, there's another cut back on him. And it looks like we're racing side to side. Side by side here. I have to give him space. Yeah, do another cat back on him. Yeah, I've got to move down there, guys. Finally, got past him. Try to keep it clean, guys. That's all. I had to move out of his way there because he was going to bump me. He also had better speed. I must say, between me and this guy, White Will, very nice clean, clean racing so far. You do get the guys that race clean, throwing all the leagues, but you do get them, and I'm thankful for them. So when I see that guys are racing clean, I give them the respect they deserve. We try to keep it clean on my side as well. Yeah, and that's what we want. We want clean races, we want to enjoy the races, we don't want to end the race and feel frustrated and feel like leaving the, the game where we went into the wall there. But gain, gaining a bit on him now because he went into the wall. I think I'll just go on our inside here. Yeah? He's got the inside for the next corner. Okay, we're going into the pit now in any case. You swap to the soft tires and put in some fuel. We need enough fuel for six laps. Just put in a little bit more than six and then we're going. There we go, 6.3, that should be fun. Okay, let's see now if we can get a better lap now, guys. There's this dirty Mercedes driver behind me again. You are now on fresher tires. Let's hope you can pull away from me a little bit. This is right on my bumper. I'm blocking more step, but I'm not going to give him that position. Car's dancing as I go around those corners. Even on the soft tires it's dancing. Maybe just because the softs are still a bit cold. Just scared this guy's gonna bump me off the check again. That's what he did earlier. I pulled away from it a little bit there on that corner. This corner, remember, we go around here and just control the accelerator. Don't push it all the way in because you will go off the track. There's another tight corner here. Break just before the brake, just before the cones there. Guys, if you have any tips for me for my driving, please drop a comment below. Because I'm still new at this game. So, yeah, and all the tips I get can help. I'm trying to watch some YouTube channels at the moment as well. Like Super GT and Trigini. Guys like that. To try and better my lap times, better my driving. 
I have done all the all the licenses. I've got gold for all the licenses. I've done the track experiences. I've got mostly gold there. I think I've only got three silver left to change into golds. Just so offline racing is not too bad. My offline racing, but I want to improve on the online racing where you get very fast guys here, even in the lower rank robbies and now pass that Mercedes on the outside like I said, there's guys that are very fast in these lower rank robbies as well so yeah, we're trying to better you know the Nissan, like I said, it's not very fast in this league there's not much I can do about that, but we can do something more about improving our lap times and yeah, like I said, drop a comment, you know, I'll have a look at it, maybe practice and see if it works for me, this guy's pushing me from behind, just hope he doesn't go into the back of me here, you break very early there, This is quite a dangerous corner to have someone so close behind you. Hopefully it like goes, like, goes like that. Just stay away from me and don't don't beat me off the track. Or hit me into that wall. I think if someone hits you off there you're gonna end up getting a penalty yourself. <coughs> to a six, so that is my best lap so far. Let's just try getting behind this guy, let's see maybe he can pull us along a bit. He got bumped off the track a, a while back. He was ahead of me, he got bumped off the track. So uh, he probably qualified for you, well he did qualify faster than me, so we're going to his slip soon. Like I said, maybe he can pull us along a bit. I'll push to get away from these guys behind us. But if I finish here, I'm not going to get very good points at all. I'm also hoping someone's going to make the mistake of not using the mediums. Because the medium is the only tire that you have to use here. And of course if you don't, get, don't use it, you get a one minute penalty. But I'll just keep that in mind. Oh, and then he spins out. Try to push the car a bit so hard there. You end up spinning the car out. So as you can see, you don't really have to do that much of drastic moves or anything. Keep it to your driving line, keep it to your braking points. You'll get out with it to push the car a bit so hard or they get pressurized by you so they end up spinning themselves out and you'll gain a position in any case another thing i heard is works like a scare tactic tactic basically if you get close to the guy in front of you just carry on flashing lights at him it will get his attention eventually it's either gonna scare him you'll go off track or you'll make a mistake or he's gonna let you go through they don't normally let you go through but most of the time they get a a fight in golf another tip is don't do it when you're while you're going around the corner I did that once I was flashing lights so I was going around the corner and if you're, if you're racing with the controller the button that you're using for your for your flashing the lights is the same button that you use to steer your car so I pushed the button in and then by accident yeah, went off the track. Pushed the car skew and went off the track. I suppose that guy was probably laughing at me. But yeah. Afterwards I was laughing at myself for doing such a such a stupid move. We 
in the case. I've got two laps left here. My tyres are not looking very good, guys. They We'll go now to the tyres, maybe put the brake balance a bit more back to the rear wheel tyres. We'll put one more. Just let the back tyres wear a bit more instead of the front tyres, because the front tyres are quite bad. I'm not going to go in for another pit stop at this stage. I'm just hoping those front tires are not going to cost me time, more time. Went a bit wide there because I was looking at the time. As I say that, I go out wide into the marbles there. I think my tyres are busy wearing a bit. Getting a bit difficult to control the car. With two laps left, let's see if we can hold these guys off. Looks like I'm pulling away from the guy behind me a little bit. Yeah, the tyres are worn now, we took the check. the position because of that but if I go into the pits now I'm probably going to lose another 15 seconds about which will cost me this position as well I don't know what happened there someone just quit or something but I just picked up two positions out of nowhere guys you should never rage quit please if you rage quit then you're going to end up damaging your driver rating. It actually hits your driver rating very bad. So try not to rage quit. I know it's sounds difficult because guys make you angry. I know sometimes guys go off because of the internet connection. That can't be helped. But even if you go off because of internet connection, your driver rating also goes down. So yeah, what I do at home is I tell my wife, I tell my family to get off the Wi-Fi so that when I'm racing only I can use the the, the, the Wi-Fi so it doesn't get overloaded with other users. Okay, here we go now for the last lap in 13th place so so far I've picked up four positions you can see that I picked up six seconds on that lap six seconds slower that is because my tires are bad I went off the track just try to put let's put the brake balance all the way to the back now just to try and prevent us from going off there can't afford to go off again even though the guy behind me is 3 seconds behind me 3 and a half seconds behind me I don't want to lose this position in a stupid mistake like that it looks like I'm catching this guy in 12th position in the Mercedes I'm on track and he goes a little bit wide there clipping the grass I hit the apex there. Hit the apex there and he goes very wide and overtake him. I think his tires are finished. I think he's got the same problem as you with tires. Normally I wouldn't break for this corner but because of the tire wear now I'm gonna have to break. I had to break a little bit there. We just make it through to the end of this lap cleanly. See the cutoff is 45 seconds left. Oh, I'm struggling with this car now, especially on these slow corners. 
also another guy did make a two stop and then I go off because the tires are slightly worn, I hope I don't lose the position but the guy behind me also ends up going off thank goodness for that see they've got 0 0.8 left left so luckily I put, put in enough fuel for the race let's see I'm coming up to the finishing line now see if anyone made a mistake with the tyres I might gain some might not, let's see ok the, I didn't gain any, I finished, ended up finishing in 12th place thanks a lot for watching guys, you can see that I got 16 points which is not too good I was in car 6 for this race which means I was ranked 6 in the lobby so yeah, I should have done a lot better, I did pick up 5 positions which is ok, but I should have at least finished in the top 10 guys thanks a lot for watching and please leave a like and subscribe this is going to help you grow my channel and please don't forget to leave a comment as well if you have anything to say about the racing or any tips to give me. Thanks a lot guys, till next time, bye bye.